Now, every single brand out there has what we will call A styles and B styles. They have styles within the brand that sell really, really, really well, and some styles that don't sell as well, okay? We call those A styles and B styles. Now, that being said, what is an A style for one practice might not necessarily be an A style for another practice. So don't let your rep determine what is A styles and B styles in your office. You need to know this. What is unique for your optical and what's good for you might not be good for Dr. Bob up the street. So you need to know what is A styles and B styles within your frame brands. The major point to understand here is that there are hot sellers and there are not so hot sellers. A styles and B styles. Spexy, we're all about refreshing your brands, but you need to do it strategically. You need to bring in new styles that are replacing styles that haven't sold. Watch what happens. Let's say you have a brand with a board space allotment of 20 on your board. Let's say 10 of them move like crazy. So those would be considered the A styles. And then 10 of the styles don't move so much. So we're gonna consider those the B styles. So A styles red is what we're gonna do and B styles will remain black in this visual. So let's say you wait for the rep to come in. By the time the rep comes in, you have sold five frames. Now the chances are of these five frames that sell that most of them are going to be A styles. So in this little scenario, we are going to have four of them that have sold as A styles. So four of the red ones have sold and one black one has sold. So they'll have five frames that need to be reordered by the time your rep comes in. Now when the rep comes in, best part about reps coming in is you get a shop, you get to see all the new stuff that's coming out. So let's say that you fall in love with three of the new styles that the rep comes in with. So you have two more spots on your board to replace it. So you are going to obviously order in two more A-frames. Now it is unclear if these new style frames are going to be A-sellers or B-sellers in your office. You don't know because you haven't sold them yet. So we're going to mark the new styles as yellow because we don't know what they're gonna be. The problem is, is that at this point, you have effectively replaced your brand that held 50% known A styles to now only holding 40% known A styles. If this trend keeps up, the likelihood of replacing all of your known A styles with unknown styles or styles that have yet to prove themselves is highly likely. It doesn't make much sense, does it? Yet we see it in opticals all the time. Now again, at Spexy, we are all about refreshing your brands, but you need to do it strategically. And you need to be aware of when you're bringing on unknown styles on how well they're gonna sell, you need to make sure they're replacing your B styles and not your A styles. Now this ordering style seems like complete nonsense when I lay it out for you this way. However, I would be willing to bet that this is happening in your optical. The reason why is because it's happening in about 80% of opticals where they're unknowingly replacing the, the known A styles that are in their inventory. 